Hey YouTube, what is going on? So today I have something very special for you guys. Something I'm very proud of and uh, I've been working on for a little while now. I haven't given too many updates, but uh, that's just because I've been focusing on actually building it. For my previous videos though, I basically just attached two jet engines to a, uh, a bar uh, that you could hold whatever sort of like wheels you were on. It would pull your end on. It was pretty cool. But today I've taken that apart and I've turned it into something that I think is a lot better. Uh, and here we go guys. Check this thing out. I call it the Jet Longboard 2.0. And let me explain a little bit about how it works. All right, so let's start off with the jet engines, or EDF technically. Jet engine sounds way cooler. So yeah, these are basically super high power electric ducted fans. Put out around eight kilograms of thrust, and we got two of them. Coming over to the back here, you can see the two EDFs are connected uh, to this carbon fiber box right here. Definitely real carbon fiber. As I'm telling you, carbon fiber vinyl makes anything look cool. Uh, and this thing actually opens up. So uh, I've got some Velcro here holding on, just peel that off. This back part just slides right on open. All right, so the main thing this houses is the batteries to power this all. Obviously, huge electric ducted fans take a large amount of power. So that's exactly what uh, these four 6S LiPo batteries Provide. We undo this Velcro strap right here. There's a few wires in the way, but uh, I'll explain what those do later. Um, we can actually take out the batteries. These are two, well technically four, um, LiPo batteries that uh, power this device. Basically, I'm hooking them up in a series. So uh, it ups the voltage from uh, 22 volts, I think, to 44 volts. So these are the speed controllers that uh, tell how much power to give to the EDFs. And uh, yeah, so these ESCs are actually hooked up to potentiometers, um, which is a variable control switch, which is housed in this remote. Um, 3D printed remote, just a 3D printed housing uh, with a potentiometer in it. So just we have on and off. Yeah, so when we go ahead and turn on this switch back here, you can see there's a blue indication light that uh, shows that it's on, um, which is very helpful. So this remote, you hold it in your hand, uh, it's connected to the uh, board. So to go faster, all you do is slide your thumb backwards and uh, the potentiometer will turn and the jets will go faster. So if we come down here, uh, we can open up this back hatch I have right here. And uh, inside, we got a nine volt battery and an Arduino. So the Arduino uh, takes the potentiometer reading and turns it into a reading that can actually be read by the ESCs in order to power the jets we have. Um, and there's a little switch on the side right here. Uh, switch it on, you can see green light comes on. Switch it off. Um, and yeah, the blue light comes on on the remote as well. Closes up. Now we did build in a few safety features as well. Uh, so these wires right here running uh, down along uh, into the project box are actually a kill switch. So if we go ahead and close this real quick, You'll see on the top here, uh, the wires come out of these sides and uh, attach to these two boxes right here. And what these are, is these are actually magnetic reed switches, um, and this is a magnet. Uh, so this clip right here, I know, very high tech, a binder clip. This wraps around your leg and uh, makes it, so if you ever fall off the board, uh, this piece will just tug off. The switches will open and the two motors will be shut off. So yeah, this just attaches a little bit of Velcro, just like that. You can even hear the switches clicking on and off. I don't know if the mic's picking that up, but yeah, they're switching on and off. Um, the motors won't start, uh, even if you have the controller, till the magnet is in place. I figured, I mean, if I was gonna strap two jets to a longboard, I figured it might be useful to have this. So another safety precaution I have are these brakes right here. So yes, this yellow bar is actually a brake, and uh, to activate it, what you do is you kind of, you have your foot here, and you push your foot back along this bar. Um, as you can see, it's moving. Um, so if I zoom out a little bit, literally just an L-shaped bar attached to the board with springs in the back right here. So when you push back on this, this bar pushes down on the wheel, which stops the wheels. Um, one thing I do want to do is actually increase the surface area of this bar because otherwise I feel like it's just going to mess up my wheel. As you can see, there's already a line. So yeah, if I just put maybe like a piece of wood there, plastic, ceramic, I don't know, um, just to spread over more of the wheel. But uh, 
honestly, at this point, I'm just happy this thing has some sort of brakes. All right, guys, so there you go. That's pretty much how the board works. Um, it's enough talking. It's like 90 degrees out, such a nice day. What do you say we go try this thing out? Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. YouTube sticker on it? Yeah, dude. Yo, get a close up of this. How cool does that look? All Earth is a car. Casey and I have that right now. Jet powered, jet powered skateboard. Casey, if for whatever reason you happen to watch this, hit me up. Let's race. Wow. Wow, wow, that thing is insane. So what you saw was literally the first time I ever tried using this. Um, I have to say, overall, it was a pretty good success. There were a few slight issues though um, that almost resulted in me falling. Number one was uh, the speed wobbles. I don't know if you saw in the video, but uh, the board was shaking quite a bit. I have no idea. It's probably a combination of the board and my longboarding abilities. Probably just not used to this type of board yet. Had to slow it down a little bit to uh, avoid me dying. And I get the feeling that this board could have just kept going and going and going. Like the initial acceleration, like the torque on this is horrible, but the top speed I bet is insane. Like at one point, I think I was only using one motor at like half thrust and it was already getting too fast. Around 20 or 30 miles an hour, the board started shaking around and yeah, I had to stop it. But like that's only one motor, half speed, this thing's insane. Number two with the complaints is the brakes are horrible. It'll stop, like it helps, but uh, you will crash into a tree before you stop using the brakes. However, on the positive side, the kill switch definitely worked. I'm glad I built that in. I'm very happy with uh, how this came out. I'm really interested to see how this would compare to like a high-end electric skateboard, like a boosted board. The acceleration of an electric skateboard would kill this thing off the line though, but top speed, I'm, I'm pretty sure the rocket board would take the cake. Well, that's uh, pretty much the video. So I hope you found this video entertaining. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, uh, subscribe for some more cool projects just like this. Usually my bigger builds like this don't do as well as my smaller ones, but I still make them anyway because uh, I think they're really cool and I like to challenge myself. So I'll still do them. Hopefully you guys are enjoying them. Leave your ideas in the comments below of uh, other cool stuff I could do with like these jet engines or this board. Uh, love to hear them, love to hear your feedback. Go check out my Instagram as well. I'm doing giveaways over there. So if you want any of the stuff I make like swords, web shooters, just Go ahead over there, follow me, and uh, like some of the pictures. I'm basically just randomly going through the likes and selecting winners. Definitely go check that out in the description below. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for this video, guys. Once again, I hope you liked it, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.